In a recent poll done by the Texas Public Policy Foundation, 76% of registered voters agreed property taxes are a major burden for them and their family. And an overwhelming 82% believe property taxes in Texas are a serious issue. A resounding 71% of those polled would be upset if the current legislative session ended with nothing done to address property taxes. Additionally, TPPF recently reported taxes have skyrocketed by 181% within the last 20 years. So what can lawmakers do to give relief to taxpayers? Well, according to the Office of the Texas Controller, approximately $7.85 billion in general state revenues was not expended by lawmakers. This is surplus money, and it should be returned to the taxpayers. Local governments in 2020 collected approximately $71 billion in property taxes. Of that, approximately $55 billion is collected by school districts. That means that if the entire surplus of $7.85 billion was used to pay down property taxes, it would reduce your property tax burden by 10%. Additionally, due to a recent spending limit passed by the Texas legislature, we should be experiencing these kinds of budget surpluses regularly in the coming decade. These reoccurring surpluses used in combination with spending cuts could be used to eliminate school property taxes altogether. The question is, will Texas taxpayers finally demand a commitment from lawmakers to provide meaningful property tax relief? Well, that answer is up to you. For more information on how your legislators score on fiscal issues, please visit texastaxpayers.com.